Hi, my name is Seth Obetz and I'm with Seth Energy and Seth Energy has a unique story. We had the opportunity to start a business in the summer of 2018 with some help from Shipley Energy, uh, who is previously one of our competitors. And Shipley gave us the opportunity to start a business in the heating and air conditioning world with a real core group of experts. And so from the beginning, we set out to have the best team that we possibly could. So all of our technicians and installers have at least 15 years of experience. This is an example here of a project that we've done that really highlights our expertise. So this is a gas-fired boiler that's at Sight & Sound, which is a large Christian entertainment complex that we've been fortunate enough to have as our customer. And they had a sidewalk area where they had loaded and unloaded and they had real ice problems because of the way that it was situated. And so we ran significant amount of PEX tubing. We were able to create a much safer environment uh, with that. And when we finished the project, it started up without a hitch and without a leak, which is something that we are very proud of for something of this scale. We did the entire layout of the PEX, the 5 8 PEX, um, in three days. And they poured on the fourth day. We pressurized it with nitrogen at about 30 PSI just to make sure that we didn't have any leaks. We have two Alpine Burnham boilers. They're 95 plus, 285,000 BTUs a piece. The original plan was to have these boilers facing this way, and one right here and one right here. And we started looking up in the owner's manual and noticed that you can stack these. So we contacted Dave and he goes, yeah, you can stack them. And he says, it's better for you that way because they're right next to each other and the plug doesn't have to stretch out as far. So there's actually, in here is, these wiring harnesses go right up into each other and they hard wired talk to each other. The brain is right here um, that controls both boilers and figures out if it's cold enough. Right now it's at 35 degrees. Its set point is 116 degrees for its supply temperature. Its idle is at 55 degrees. The pressure basically is different. The longest loop will have the most uh, pressure. The shortest loop will have the least. That way you have an even flow and um, that will reduce the amount of airflow. You have three speed circulators. Next to the boiler here is a circulator that basically keeps the loop uh, flowing. And then when it calls for heat, these guys will kick on and send it out to heat. 